See, I've had about 60, 60 or more boxing mm -hmm. matches. Right. And you only meet three genuine punches throughout your career. Mm -hmm. Jerry Cooney. Jerry Cooney. Ronnie Lyle. Ronnie Lyle. And a kid I worked with by the name of Cleveland Wheat. Mm -hmm. And they hit so hard that it vibrates your body, even if they, you block it, just... Now let's talk about George Foreman. There's been talk of a change in his style since he's gotten the new manager trainee, trainer, the veteran and wise Gil Clancy. Can a fighter change his style this late in the game? I feel that uh, he can change it in the gym, but once he gets into the heat of battle, he gets hit, he's very subject to go back to what he knows best. Just look at this. A wild, almost amateurish right. First one in, didn't get it through, the second got in. Story, seven and a half years in Colorado State present. A good right by Lyle. A good right by Lyle, and he's got Foreman in trouble. He's got him in trouble. George staggering off the ropes, and Lyle all over him. A surprising trend of events. George, George looking over here to Gil Clancy, sitting right next to me for instruction. You see George in trouble. As I said before, Howard, shows that Lyle has no fear of him, none at all. No fear in Ron Lyle at all. Good punching power in either hand. So now Lyle is hurt. Now Lyle is hurt. Quickly, Foreman lands and a left and a right and another left and Lyle's in trouble. He's against the ropes, trying to cover. Foreman is a tremendous puncher. No question about that. Ken Norton can attest to that. I told you we'd have a slugfest, and that's what we've got.
it. Foreman punching him again and again and again when it looked like George was done. This time it may be over. This time it may be over. Wow, not gonna make it, Wow, not gonna make it. A knockout in the fifth round by George Foreman when it seemed Lyle had command of this ever-changing bout. motherfuckers for watching CT Flex and Motivation on YouTube. Like, subscribe, don't like, don't subscribe. I don't give a fuck either way. <laughs> but what you do need to do is take your punk ass over to ctflexer.com and buy something. Cause I fucking said so.